Hello friends, and welcome back to Subnautica. I'm Jay Ray, and I have just been out exploring around a little bit in this area. Just kind of looking around, see if I could find a bit more salt. And I did manage to find a tad bit more salt. So now we can make some cured foods. And also I grabbed a couple more batteries because my flashlight went dead. Now, in the last episode, we managed to make the sea glide, and I'm using power on it already, that's a problem. But we have not yet played this radio message. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to go looking for that other life pod that was supposed to be over in the shallows there. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. Rescue? They were engine grease, send an SOS, he offered to help, they don't pick up. Oh, Aurora, yeah, okay. I know on the far side of the system, it's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's going to have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range stands pick up in the meantime. Okay. Well, rescue, maybe? It's somebody. Also, I looked over here and I noticed that. <laughs> so I was, I was kind of right, I suppose. You, I'm gonna grab you. Come here. This thing is almost too fast, actually. I can't actually grab them. These peepers are incredibly fast. I didn't scan this yet, either. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a couple peepers. Maybe, if I can catch him. Yes, got one. And then this is gonna be my emergency food that I'm gonna cure. Because I don't think it'll spoil as quickly when it's in my inventory this way. Come here. Give me. There we go. Okay, also I found out that those rabbit rays over there are actually completely harmless, so I did not need to be so afraid of them. Yes. Yes, got another one. And yes, got another one. Okay. So we're going to keep this one in our inventory at all times, just so that we have it. And then we're going to cook up these other guys. This fabricator is incredibly handy. <laughs> what would we ever do without it? Okay, and that is all of our stuff. Okay. And now, before it becomes night again... We're going to go over there to that life pod, way over there, which might be a bit of a long journey, but we're ready. It may take us deeper than ever before. Also, have I mentioned yet that I absolutely love this game? <laughs> Also, I have this tendency when I'm swimming around to stay as low to the ground as I possibly can. Even when I'm free diving, which doesn't necessarily seem like a good idea. Because you keep following the ground and then you lose track of... What is this? <laughs> ah! Okay. Never mind, I didn't need that to happen. Oh. Is this it? This is the... Oh. Oh, dear. Okay. Doesn't look like they survived. Okay. That's helpful. Ah! Okay. Is there anything else I can take from here? 
Well, this is just absolutely tragic. Ooh, can I get a health kit? No. Okay. Well, that is just tragic. Also, the water looks very different over here. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's not great. Also, that's the last of my water. I think I'm just going to end up going back to drinking the regular water, because if I had anything before, I still have it. Okay, where is it? You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Salt! Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overlap More salt. meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. More salt! I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Oh dear. Okay, well it looks like there's... Quite a few things that you can get over here. I certainly won't be missing any titanium. more sea glide fragments. Okay, I'll come back over here if I need a very large amount of titanium. Ooh, salt! Okay, I do like the salt for sure. Haha, <laughs> he's playing with the scraps. So cool. Ooh, what are you? I'm again running out of storage as well, so I may need to make some form of Oh dear, that looks like a geyser. Probably not a place I would want to go just yet. Blah. Please don't boil me. I don't need to be boiled alive. Okay, at some point I'm going to want to build a base. It's a little bit further out from the pod here. But I need to know what area is more beneficial for me to do that in beforehand. Oh, so I should be using my sea glide. I completely forgot that I even had this. But anyway, as I was saying, it's not really a good idea to stay so low to the ground like that all the time because you go like a hundred feet out from shore and then you look up and all of a sudden you notice, oh, I am 50 feet deep. That's not good. And then you are doomed. Okay. What does it take to make a computer chip? Table coral gold. Hey, I can make all of that stuff. I have all that stuff on hand, actually. So I did actually need the table coral, eventually. this advanced wiring kit okay what else do I need for this wiring kit okay I needed that anyway ah silver I just so happen to have some of this I'm not sure if I need to be making this right away but I'm going to just so that I have it the builder designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to put this in. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Four. Three. And then... Four. Okay. Ready. Oh dear, and it's night. Okay, what does it take to... Ah. Okay. 
Okay, so the main thing is we're going to need that, and I can't get that until I scan it, I guess. So we're going to have to go on a bit of an adventure. Okay, and then what else do I need to make? Whoop! Okay, well, I'll save. What else do I need to grab? Do, do, do. Pathfinder tool. Okay, is there's nothing else I can make? Okay. Compass. I do not need a compass. Rebreather. Ah, okay. That's helpful. I should make one of those. Because I would like to go down into the depths. Well, I don't really want to, but I'm gonna. <laughs> also, it's very handy that this thing has a flashlight. I will check that message in just a second. I want to see if I can find some more silver first. Uh, that's copper. Okay, I think the resources respawn, actually, which is very helpful. More salt. See, I know there wasn't this much salt before. Okay, I kind of know what I'm looking for. Vaguely. What is this? Mobile vehicle bay. Okay, we did get that as well. So I can start building submarines. I keep seeing little things and thinking that the stuff that I can pick up. Salt. Salt. Okay, so salt is a lot more abundant now as well, which is very good. Actually, it's incredibly abundant. Looking for ore in the creep vine areas. Was that just you? I hope that was just you. What's in here? Thirty seconds. <gasps> Ooh. Ah, it's just gold. I didn't need gold. What are you? You look like you're gonna hurt me. I'd like to scan you before I run out of oxygen. Okay. Get me up to surface. Surface, please. Surface, please. Surface, please. <gasps> okay. How far away are we? Oh, we're very far away. Yeah, it's fine. We'll be fine. I'm sure there aren't monstrous entities down here that would eat me. Silver, yes, fine. I don't know why I'm breaking those with such a suspense. Lead, okay, I didn't need lead. Okay, bringing you guys back in to say that I'm having a very hard time finding any silver. So, instead, what I'm going to do... So, I'm going to look for silver over in this area with the red grass. Because that is a new area, and I would like to explore it. I would like to explore it further. And hopefully not die in the process. What is this? Oh, never mind. I thought that was something special for a second, but it's not. Okay, this is very deep. <laughs> okay. And I didn't get to scan you yet. Because you went under the sand. For So I would like to do that now. You look interesting. Come back! No, don't swim away! Ah. There we go, okay. You alright? You don't look healthy. <laughs> Crazy fish. Crazy fish. Okay. Let's see if there's silver over in this area. 
Oh, what's this? <gasps> oh, this is a submarine part. This is very helpful. Okay, I need three of those. That's good. Okay, new favorite place. And yes! Please be silver. Yeah! Okay, we got what we came for. Good. I'm gonna look around and see if I can find some more seamoth chunks, though. What are you? Thirty seconds. Yep, 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 yep. I know, 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 I know. What was hurting me? Oh, we are so very deep. It's the illusion of not being that deep when you actually are. Uh. <sighs> oh, we're getting very close to that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna scan you too. Because I think you were hurting me a second ago. That was a loud noise. This is a cool area. I like this spot. Oh. Don't really like that. What's this? Bioreactor, okay. Sure. Ooh, that is a deep expanse of nothingness. Oh my gosh, they were right there. Jeez, okay. That's slightly terrifying. More bioreactor. Okay, I'm gonna have to start swimming to the surface very soon. Some more bioreactor. Okay, going to the surface. Surfacing. I'm gonna be right next to these guys, though. Holy cow, they're massive. We're a long ways away from that pod. Okay, I'm gonna scan you, big guy. Don't hate me, please. I find it so cool. Okay, we got him. I find it so cool that there's things that you can scan on top of a thing that you can scan. <laughs> that is fascinating. Okay, I'm looking for more chunks of that. Oh, there's another pod. Oh dear. Well, this one didn't make it either, it looks like. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. Flares. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Oh, jeez. Yep, you caught the fuel line. That wasn't smart. Yep, I know. I know. I'm trying to find any more remnants of that sea moth over here. And I really don't want to be getting too close to that ship. Swim into the light! Okay. Oh, that's cool. It's up above the surface. Oh, geez, we're very close to that. Maybe this isn't the best place to be. Oh, is that the same one I just scanned? Oh, it's bioreactor. Dang it. What is that? Oh, that's another creature egg. Can I scan this? No, I cannot. It's just seagrass. Seagrass. Okay. Laser cutter? Ooh, yes, please. One of three? Oh, that's mean. Okay, well. All right. I don't like 
like being over here. That looks dangerous to me. Is that the sea moth I scanned before? That's got to be the sea moth I scanned before, right? No, it's not! Okay, I just need one more part. Very good. Okay. Making progress. Oh, wait, so that means I wasn't over here either. Yep, I know. Nuclear waste disposal. Okay. Go, 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 go. Ah, swim! Swim, swim, swim! Okay, I am very low on everything. I need to eat and drink. And I don't have... Give me those. Ah, water just went down. That's bad. I'm going to have to go back home. I did not realize that was going to hurt my water situation so much. Okay, we'll come back here in a little bit. I'm going to go back home and get some more water. Ah, okay. Well, that used up a battery. not helpful to me. Is there anything of use over here? There's a lot of wreckage here. What's that? Beacon fragment. I'm picking up a lot of stuff. Okay. I'm gonna head home real quick before I die of thirst. I'm gonna make all haste. Yep, I'm already taking damage. Come on, get me there. I need one of you. Quickly. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Get me in. Give, 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 give now, give now, give now, give now, give now. Ugh. Okay, well that was bad. I don't want that to happen ever again. That was the worst. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of you guys. Also gonna eat this other fish before it decomposes completely. I'm living on the edge. Okay, I'm gonna play that in a second. Water. Vital science. I'm drinking them as fast as I can produce them. That's not good. Okay. I'm going to need to drink that one too. Looks like I'm going to have to go on a water expedition here and also use this. Okay, what does the radio message say? <laughs> I would think it would be expected. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Is that Life Pod 6? Can't be. No. Yes, it was. It's already there. That's not good. Okay, let's see, what was I going to do? Right, water. Water and put away some of my stuff. Also, I think I should have the stuff now to make that rebreather. I should look at the recipe real quick. Rebreather, wiring kit, fiber mesh, okay. I can make the fiber mesh. 
just need to grab a creep vine. I know exactly where to find some. I'm gonna make an extra one just in case I need it for something else later. There we go! Rebreather! Okay, now how do I put this on? Does this go... oh. Okay, so I can either wear the radiation suit or I can wear the rebreather. That's unfortunate. Makes sense, I guess, but still rather unfortunate. And I'm gonna save. Put the gold away. I really should have an emergency medical kit on me at all times as well. I should make another cured food as well. See where's salt is in here. Yes, give. Thank you. There we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna go grab a whole bunch of water. Alright, water has been acquired, and in the next episode we're going to be going over there to Aurora and see if we can find some more sea moth fragments, and maybe get a little bit closer also, because I'd like to start building some habitats, and I'm not sure exactly what type of blueprints those require, but there's a whole bunch over there. And then we're going to go over there to Life Pod 17, not Life Pod 6, which is what I thought it was, and we're going to see what happened to them. It's not too far away. So, until then, thank you all so very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like and subscribe if you want. It would mean the world. And may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the rain fall softly upon your fields. And until we meet again, keep adventuring.